In this video, we're going to be replacing the fog light in this 2008 Acura MDX. All right, so we're going to take off this top plastic cover to start removing our bumper. To do that, we'll just start taking out these plastic clips. We're going to use a couple of different tools here, a couple of different panel clip tools. I'm just going to raise the center portion of these. Now we can lift our top panel off here. We have two 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side of our, our bumper slash grill here. I'm gonna take those out now. All right, so we have a couple of push clips across the bottom. Your vehicle may have some bolts or more push clips. Ours is missing a whole bunch of stuff, so we're just gonna remove what we have. But take a look on the bottom here, all the way across your bumper, and just remove whatever's holding it to the vehicle. Again, everywhere you see a hole down on the bottom side here, there is supposed to be something we're just skipping these because our car didn't come with them. The goal on this side is to remove it from your splash shield and the vehicle support here. Once you get these done here, you can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And then you can go ahead and get the three in the middle. All right, so on the fender side here, you're gonna have a Phillips screw here on our bumper. It just seems to be worn away by the tire. This must have been loose at some point. So you have a Phillips screw here. And if you follow this straight up, you'll see a hole right here. If you peel back your fender liner or go in through the liner, we'll peel this back so you can see it a little bit better. There's a Phillips screw right in there. Once you have these two addressed, Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now that you've taken your screw out or your two screws out on the side of your bumper, there's only a few clips underneath here all the way up holding your bumper in place. What you want to do is if you can, get your hand in between the fender liner and the bumper and then just pull outward. Try not to just pull like we're pulling here. Try to get in as close as you can to that. You don't want to crease the bumper. Just want to try and pull out evenly. All right. If you're doing this by yourself, right now is a great time to stop and do the same thing on the other side. Get it to about your headlight area. And then once you get both sides free, we'll attack it from the middle. So at this point, this grill is a separate piece from the bumper. It's held in with some clips. So we're not going to use this as support. We're going to hold it from here. We'll keep one hand on this side. I'm going to grab the bumper over on this side, wherever you can. Separate it from the clips underneath the headlight. Now what you're gonna have is fog lights down below. You're gonna have a plug to the, each of one of those fog lights. So we're not gonna take this straight off and try and walk away. We're gonna remove it slowly. We're gonna pull it out just enough to get in behind there. And we're gonna disconnect our fog light harnesses. All right, so press in on the clip. Pull up. 
and a little tip, if you're doing this by yourself and you're very careful, what you can do if you can't get the clips to come out easy is just turn and remove your bulb. And make sure you sit that bulb somewhere where it's safe for a few minutes. What I do recommend is once you have your bumper off, go ahead and take your lights and immediately put the bulbs right back into the fog light so that way you're not doing any damage. This is just to help you get the bumper off because it's so big and awkward, a little bit quicker. Once this side fog lights is done, we're just gonna rest the bumper back into the clips. Maybe push in a little bit. That'll hold this side while we work on the other side. All right, now that you've got your fog lights disconnected, what you can do is grab your bumper, pull it straight back, and we can set that aside. All right, so to remove your fog light, back side, 10 millimeter bolt. And your fog light will press right out. To install your fog light, go ahead and put it in from the bottom. Find your tab on the side, put that in, and just push straight up. With one hand on the front, push in the lens. You can now take your 10 millimeter bolt and thread that in. All right, now we can swap over our bulbs. Pull our bulb, twist our bulbs right out. And you can see the grommet on this one came a little loose, so just put that back in place. Again, do not touch the glass on your bulbs. All right, same thing on the other. The fog light housings are marked off and on for your bulbs in the twisting locations. So we'll be twisting on. And that's where your alignment is for your fog lights. So now we can bring in our bumper, plug in our fog lights. Now we can raise our bumper into place. Now our bumper probably won't seat in here. We do have a crack, so it may not stay in right here. All right, we can put our Phillips screw back in here to hold in the corner of our bumper. All right, so now we can put our fender liner in place, and put our clips back in. Now you can go ahead and do the same all the way across your bumper to the other side. We have a 10 millimeter bolt here, one on the other side. All right, now we can reinstall our upper trim piece. And reinstall some clips.
When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.